In every U.S. Army operation, from the dusty roads of Iraq to the rugged mountains of Afghanistan, one truth never changes. No mission succeeds without logistics. Ammunition, water, food, fuel, and engineering supplies must flow relentlessly to the front lines. If that lifeline fails, the mission fails with it. That is why the United States Army relies on one vehicle above all to keep its warfighters supplied. The Oshkosh Palletized Load System, or PLS. More than just a truck, the PLS is the backbone of tactical logistics, a machine built to carry the Army's lifeblood into battle. With its powerful engine, immense payload capacity, and self-loading technology, it delivers essential supplies faster, safer, and more efficiently than any vehicle that came before it. And in this episode, we will dive deep into this remarkable truck, uncovering its history, its development, its variants, and how it became one of the most indispensable logistics vehicles in the U.S. Army today. The Palletized Load System, PLS, is a truck-based logistics system that entered service in the United States Army in 1993. It performs long and short distance freight transport, unit resupply, and other missions in the tactical environment to support modernized and highly mobile combat units. It provides rapid movement of combat, configured loads of ammunition, and all classes of supply, shelters, and intermodal containers. It is similar to systems such as the British Demountable Rack Offload and Pickup System, DROPS. A self-contained hydraulic load handling system, LHS, is mounted on the PLS truck chassis. The PLS truck has two mission-oriented configurations, the M1074 and M1075. The M1074 is equipped with a variable reach material handling crane, MHC, to support forward deployed artillery units. The M1075 does not have the MHC. The M1075 without MHC is used in conjunction with the M1076 trailer in support of transportation line haul missions. PLS is unusual because it has five axles, two in the front and three in the rear, and both the front axles and the last rear axle can steer, making the truck easier to maneuver despite its large size. A five-axle, 10 by 10 configuration was selected by Oshkosh as it provides optimum turning capability and good weight distribution between all axles providing mobility and capability above the desired level of the U.S. Army specification. The original A0 PLS was powered by a Detroit Diesel 8V92 TAV 82-stroke diesel developing 500 horsepower, with later production examples having the electronically controlled DDEC4 version of this engine. The modernized version, PLS A1 variants, are powered by a Caterpillar C15 four-stroke diesel developing 600 horsepower. This coupled to an Allison 4 5000 SP six-speed automatic transmission and Oshkosh 3 6000 series two-speed transfer case. At the front sits a two-seat forward control cab. Evolved from the original Oshkosh M977HEMTT, while the PLS A1 retains a familiar shape, its cab is slightly larger and more advanced. To enhance crew survivability, modular add-on armor kits developed by Armor Holdings were introduced for both the M1074 and M1075. The PLS A1 cab meets the U.S. Army's long-term armor strategy using a modular A-kit and B-kit armor system. Integrated floor armor 
comes as standard, providing protection against mines and improvised explosive threats. Behind the truck, the M1076 trailer plays a critical role. This three-axle dolly-type trailer carries up to 16.5 tons, the same payload as the truck itself. Using the onboard load handling system, flat racks can be loaded or unloaded without the driver ever leaving the cab. In less than one minute, the truck can be cleared, and in under five minutes, both truck and trailer are ready to move. Both the PLS trucks and the M1076 trailer are fully air transportable by C5 Galaxy and C17 Globemaster III aircraft, allowing rapid global deployment. Cargo flexibility is where the PLS truly excels. The M1077 and M1077A one general purpose flat racks are designed to transport ammunition and vital supplies. ISO compatible flat racks feature foldable end walls for efficient stacking when empty. The M3 and M3A1 container, roll-in roll-out platform known as CROP, even allows a complete flat rack system to fit inside a standard 20-foot ISO container. Looking ahead, the future of the M1074 and M1075 lies in modernization. The US Army continues to upgrade these vehicles with improved protection, more efficient powertrains and advanced digital communications. As the demands of modern warfare evolve, the M1074 and M1075 are no longer just cargo trucks. They are transforming into smart, adaptable logistics platforms, quietly ensuring that the front line never runs out of what it needs. This is Military Truck, your source for military logistics, heavy equipment, and tactical vehicle history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the machines behind the mission.